Here's your wrestling news for February 20th, 2021. And your headlines for today include, SmackDown ends with a clear sign what we're getting for WrestleMania 37. WWE only has a few WrestleMania matches set in stone. Apollo Crews' heel turn is in full effect on SmackDown. Did WWE finally make the right move? Current WWE star is preparing for life after pro wrestling. Major angle involving Aaliyah Mysterio dropped by WWE. Released WWE star is training for bare knuckle fighting. Did Otis quietly turn heel on SmackDown? Is this the right move? Sting set to zipline from the rafters on AEW Dynamite? Why is AEW planning such a risky move? WWE wrestler develops eating disorder because of pressure from WWE. WWE wrestler's agent tore up $5 million WWE contract. WWE is blocking wrestler from performing outside of company. Triple H and Stephanie McMahon give a standing ovation to WWE debutante. Paige talks about possible WWE return and more. We're kicking off today with SmackDown, which ended with a huge spoiler regarding WrestleMania 37. In the final moments of the show, this Sunday, SmackDown Chamber combatants all collided, and Edge got involved, spearing Jey Uso. Edge was then promptly speared by the Universal Champion Roman Reigns, as it was made clear that these two will be facing off at WrestleMania. The Tribal Chief ended the segment by taunting Edge with the Universal title, and when you factor in that WWE Champion Drew McIntyre isn't even discussing Edge, never mind attacking him, it's clear what match we'll be getting at WrestleMania. Edge has said that he's waiting until after the Elimination Chamber match to make his decision, but at this point, his decision is just a formality, and Edge vs. Roman Reigns is booked for WrestleMania. Speaking of which, WrestleMania is just 49 days away, and there are no plans for the richest prize in the company. That's according to WrestleVotes, who report that only four matches have been confirmed behind the scenes, and none of them are for the WWE Championship. There's also no plans right now for either the Raw or SmackDown tag titles, the Intercontinental title, the United States title, or the Raw Women's Championship. The only matches WWE does have in place are Roman Reigns vs. Edge, Sasha Banks vs. Bianca Belair, Randy Orton vs. The Fiend, and John Morrison in The Miz facing Damian Priest and Bad Bunny. With 49 days to go, WWE does have time to decide on many matches, but with matches, winners, and storylines all needing to be decided, booked, and approved by Vince McMahon, the company has a lot to do and not much time to do it. One person who could do big things at WrestleMania is Apollo Crews, who faced Shinsuke Nakamura this week on SmackDown as Intercontinental Champion Big E watched on. Feeling disrespected that Big E isn't interested in defending his title against him, Crews said if the former New Day star spoke to his royal Nigerian ancestors in the same fashion, he would have his tongue cut off. Extreme threat aside, Big E made it clear on commentary that Crews wouldn't be getting a title match even if he won as he's already defeated the High Flyer in the past few weeks on SmackDown. Instead, Big E praised Nakamura, who won the match but was attacked post-match by Cruz, confirming his heel turn. After Big E stopped Cruz from launching Nakamura into the steel steps, the former US champion launched the steps into both men, confirming once and for all that he's a heel. This is a side of Cruz fans have been wanting for a while, and time will tell if it's the start of another great run for the athletic heel. Now, we recently covered how WWE has nothing for Bo Dallas over a year since his last match, but the former NXT champion is keeping busy out of the ring. In the Wrestling Observer newsletter, it was reported that Dallas is working closely with Liv Morgan on a number of projects away from WWE. The report reads, He's still getting paid and has a farm living with Morgan, and they've started a family real estate business and studying that to prepare for life after wrestling. Although Dallas' time with WWE isn't over yet, it's wise of him to prepare for life after wrestling, and given that it's been 478 days since his last WWE match, and the company have no plans for him, it seems like his time may come sooner rather than later. Last year, Aliyah Mysterio became one of the most featured stars on SmackDown, aligning herself with Murphy on the blue brand. It's been a while, though, since we've seen the 19-year-old on SmackDown, and in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer said that fans shouldn't expect to see Aaliyah again. 
Regarding the Murphy Aaliyah disappearance, that was noted this week when during the Rollins promo, Murphy was one of the wrestlers at ringside, never pointed out or focused, so he was at TV, it was just an angle dropped. WWE didn't reference the partnership between Rollins and Murphy during the former Universal Champion's return to SmackDown last week, symbolizing that this storyline is officially over. Ray, Dominic, and Murphy, presumably with Aaliyah by his side, were meant to feud with King Corbin, Steve Cutler, and Wesley Blake. But with Cutler released, those plans have also been dropped. Despite reports that Aaliyah was impressing all the right names backstage and was even training for an in-ring debut, those never happened. And who knows when, if ever, we'll see Aaliyah on WWE TV again. But what do you make of this situation? Do you want to see Aaliyah return? Let us know in the comments. Speaking of things dropped by WWE, Lars Sullivan was released from WWE earlier this year, and he's now looking at life after wrestling. In The Observer, it's reported that Sullivan is training to compete for a bare-knuckle fighting promotion, though this may be easier said than done, considering his age. At 32 years old, he's a bit old to start this new career, but his 230-pound frame certainly helps his case. It's also reported that Sullivan has no delusions about his age being a factor, but is planning on competing in the sport regardless. Sullivan's time with WWE was mired with both injuries and controversies, and hopefully these issues don't plague Sullivan in his new career goal in another form of fighting. How do you think Sullivan will do in bare-knuckle fighting? Sound off in the comments! More from SmackDown as Otis appeared on this week's show and showed a much different side to his character. Teaming with Chad Gable to face Rey and Dominic Mysterio, the match could have set up the next challengers for the SmackDown tag titles, but it was confusing to say the least, as Dominic did nothing relevant during the bout. The finish was just as strange as Otis and Gable, aka the Alpha Academy, got disqualified as they didn't listen to the referee's instructions. Being ordered to hit another splash on the already hurt Ray, the decision seems to be to turn Otis heel, and we're still not sure what Dominic was doing as his father was being destroyed. This heel turn was done in a very quiet way, but it might just work, as the Alpha Academy have been getting regular TV time on SmackDown, and a feud with the Mysterios will cement them as a heel team on the blue brand. That said, WWE offered no explanation as to why Otis could go from a lovable, affable face to a vicious heel and we're questioning why Gable has turned heel once again. It wasn't too long ago that he was a face feuding with King Corbin, only to side with Corbin and turn heel, only to turn face shortly after, and is now heel again. It's not the most nonsensical booking WWE has ever done, but turning both men heel was done without any explanation, and hopefully we get answers soon enough. Do you think this heel turn will work? Sound off below! AEW next and Sting took a powerbomb this week, proving that he's not afraid to take a big bump when needed, and he's also preparing for a huge stunt next week. According to Redditor Space Force One, who's been accurate in the past, AEW has a very special entrance for Sting planned for next week's Dynamite, as he'll appear from the rafters, complete with zipline. We are sure that AEW will be extra safe next week, as the last thing anyone wants to see is a repeat of the Owen Hart tragedy of 1999. It's unclear what Sting will be ziplining in for, but fans can expect an iconic entrance for the icon of WCW. Over to Raw, and Drew McIntyre and Sheamus will collide in this Sunday's WWE Championship Chamber match, and it's been a long time coming for both men. On Twitter, the WWE Champion shared a photo of himself and Sheamus long before they were in WWE, showing just how long both men have been at each other's throats. In the photo, Sheamus is the man holding the title, though things are very different now, and time will tell whether Sheamus is champion again after this Sunday's pay-per-view. We've got some great news regarding WCW legend Conan as he's out of the hospital. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports that Conan was discharged on February 18th after suffering from kidney failure and a positive test. Now, the former U.S. champion has a clean bill of health, and after receiving a ton of well wishes from the wrestling community, hopefully he won't have to go through this again. When you're in WWE, there's a lot of pressure on you to both look and be your best, and that goes double for second and third generation superstars. This week, Vicky Guerrero spoke about her daughter Shaw's time with the company, and on the AEW Unrestricted podcast, revealed how the pressure of being in WWE harmed her daughter. She explained, you have to sacrifice yourself, before family, before anything else. She was single, so it really was not important for her to settle down with anyone. 
She did well, but she went through her trials for being a wrestler, and she got an eating disorder from the pressure they put on her for being a certain weight and how she had to look. Shaw recently announced that she was pulling herself from all bookings and is taking a break from wrestling, and after all that she's gone through in her career, hopefully this time will allow Guerrero to center herself. But what do you make of this story? Let us know below. In 1999, Kurt Angle made his WWE debut, but what the company initially had planned never happened thanks to his agent. Speaking on his podcast, the Olympic hero described being brainwashed by close friends who didn't want him to sign the decade-long deal with WWE for a guaranteed $5 million. He added, My agent is the one that decided for me. He was an amateur wrestler and also played pro football. He decided, you're not going to do this garbage, this isn't the real deal. Saying that the two of them tore the contract together, Kurt would eventually come to WWE and although he had a Hall of Fame-worthy career before his departure in 2006, he could have earned a whole lot more money. Back to the present, and last year, Kairi Sane returned to her native Japan to be a company ambassador and remains under WWE contract. On March 3rd, Stardom is hosting a huge Budokan Hall show and wanted Sane on the card, and despite the fact that the show wouldn't be competing with WWE, the US juggernaut refused to let Sane compete. The Wrestling Observer explains, Sane was unable to get WWE permission to do the show. They had left it up to WWE. They wanted her in a big singles match, but also offered WWE having her do a rumble with legends. This will be Stardom's biggest show ever, and although Sane is a name synonymous with the promotion, as she competed as Kairi Hojo, this event will have to go on without the former NXT Women's Champion. We are heading across the pond next as a UK reality TV star may be WWE's next breakout superstar. According to the Wrestling Observer, WWE has their eyes on Adam Maxted of Love Island fame, but the 6'3", 235-pound hunk is more than just a pretty face. Maxted has been working in the UK independent scene for a few years now, including having matches against the likes of Pac, Pete Dunne, and Drew McIntyre. And we'll have to see if WWE signs this promising upstart. In 2004, the WWE debuted Eugene as the kayfabe nephew of Eric Bischoff, but this wasn't the first time some fans saw him. Prior to his on-screen debut, Eugene competed in a dark match against Lance Cade, and whilst speaking to talk as Jericho, Nick Dinsmore discussed how he was praised for making the character work. He said, I walked back through the curtain. Hunter, Stephanie, Fit were all standing ovation. Triple H said, you committed to the character 100%. Though Eugene lost the match to Cade, his character went on to have success in WWE, and he certainly impressed the right people despite coming up short in this pre-debut dark match. Page News next, and it's been three years since the anti-diva retired due to a series of neck injuries that caused her to hang up her boots. That doesn't mean the former Divas champion has given up hope though, as when the WWE on Fox account shared a screenshot of Daniel Bryan and Edge, two men who had to retire but made it back, Page responded saying, one day. Paige's last match was a Boxing Day house show where she suffered an injury after a kick from Sasha Banks. On the post-WrestleMania 34 Raw, Paige confirmed her retirement, and although she's held various roles in WWE since then, including being a manager, general manager, and backstage correspondent, the former champion hopes to one day prove that WWE is still her house. Do you think Paige will wrestle again one day? And if so, who should she face? Let us know in the comments. And we're ending with Cesaro, and despite the focus he's received lately, it may be too little too late. Speaking to the New York Post, Cesaro discussed going in a different direction and admitted to being very stubborn about his wrestling career. The Swiss Superman added that he's even considered outside ventures and the possibility of leaving WWE, but is confident that when the right moment comes, he'll knock it out of the park. That moment may be this Sunday as he's considered a heavy favorite in the SmackDown Chamber match, and although it's unlikely he'll leave as Universal Champion, a strong showing against Roman Reigns can only help Cesaro's career. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.